I'm Chris Thompson with ilovetocreate.com. Today we're going to work on a tie-dye technique called shibori. It's a Japanese technique. What it ends up looking like is kind of like a bamboo. As you can see here, we have some nice cool altered looks. And now let's show you how to get those looks. First you want to take a PVC pipe, depending on how big or small your shirt is. Today we're just going to work with the small one. You'll take your shirt. Now make sure you wash your shirts and anything you're about to dye because that way it helps remove any sizing that might, you know, alter your look. You'll take it, you'll lay it nice and flat on your table. You'll take your pipe. Now, with your shirt nice and damp, you're going to go ahead and just roll it onto your pipe, just like this. Once it's all rolled, you'll take it at the ends and you'll just squeeze it together. Slide it down, just like that. Same thing with the other side. Pull them together. Now once you got them nice and squeezed tight, you'll take your rubber bands and wrap them around the ends. And we only want to do this so that way we can keep it nice and tight. There you go. Then you'll put your gloves on. The best thing about this tie-dye is you don't have to worry about hot water or cold water or soda ash as you used to have to do before. This quick, easy, one-step tie-dye by Tulip makes everything so much easier. So after you add your water, you'll just squeeze it right on your shirt, just like this. You know, give it a good roll. And when you're all done, go ahead and wrap it up. That way it holds the moisture in and the dye can stay nice and vibrant and really soak into that shirt. After you let it sit for about four to six hours, give it a good rinse in your washer. When it's all done, let it dry, and here you go. A nice, awesome technique. That took us what? Less than five minutes? Thanks for joining us. Come back next time with ilovetocreate.com.